Watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. Get ready to enjoy great food and dance a polka or two. German Fest returns to the Oakland neighborhood this weekend. Christy Hogan and Cassie Short are here to tell us all about it. So glad you ladies are back and letting us know all about German Fest because this is the fun stuff happening this weekend. Yeah. How many years is this for German Fest, Christy? So it started out as a small um, community event in 1974. And so it's just kind of gone as 49 years that we've been doing this and it's kind of growing into a little bit different each year. It's getting bigger and bigger, so. And some people get really into it. Hence yes. your outfit today. You are just ready for the red couch. <laughs> do people really dress in the traditional yeah. old fashioned German costumes? We have several people that do um, over the years. People have just incorporated it into the weekend and it just becomes part of them and the whole system, yeah. If great. you're lucky, you might even catch Father Tim down there in his later hose in this year. Of course, year. Yes. why not? Because right? he's a lot of fun. What all does happen, uh, Cassie, at German Fest? So one thing I like to tell everybody is there's something for everyone at German mm -hmm. Fest. Uh, Sunday's our big day with the kids carnival. We also have some inflatables and a train Saturday night for the kids when the parents want to leave the kiddos alone for a while and go get a drink. This is one of our silent auction. Uh, we have a country store, some handmade items. We actually have hand embroidered items this year. We brought back our tea towels. Mm. Uh, wonderful German food. The kitchen's busy at work as we speak, making kraut strudel. We nice. Made 5,000 last night. Yeah. Five, just last night? Yes. How many do you go through in the weekend? At, at least, oh, close to six. Oh my close gosh. Close to six, yeah. So, and it's fresh because you just made it. Yes. You also have fun with the shirts, right? Show us yeah. off the so shirts. So this is our new shirt this year for our committee heads and some of our staff members. So if you have questions this year and you see someone running around in one of these shirts, they should be able to answer it for your question or at least get you to the person who might have an answer. And they're bright yellow, so of course they'll be easy to spot. Yes. <laughs> and the first question I'll answer is rain or shine, German Fest will happen. Okay, yes. so there you go. No matter what happens with the forecast, not that you've been pressuring. I mean, everybody's been coming in this weekend kind of pressuring Jeremy. You're going to clear out the rain, right? So yeah. we'll see what happens. What is the full schedule? So it starts Saturday. So Saturday it starts with the mass at 4 o'clock. Um, then we have authentic uh, German food that comes out at 5 o'clock. Nothing starts until after the mass, but at 5 o'clock, then all the sales and all the good times happen. We have the band, of course, we'll be playing. We'll have the kids' inflatables. We have the new booths, uh, T-shirts, souvenirs, all kinds of great things like that. We'll have the snack bar open. Um, Beer Garden, of course, is our favorite place that everybody loves to visit. <laughs> and then, of course, there's an auction preview, so you can see all the items on the silent auction and uh, sit back and enjoy a brat and a beer. And then Sunday, it gets underway at 10, is that correct? Yes, so it'll start at 10, that'll be after the morning mass. Everything starts after a mass. Of course. Uh, and that'll kick off with our carnival. We'll have food downstairs in the church basement. It'll be all decorated up for our dining hall that day. Uh, we'll still have our snack bar outside if you don't want to wait in that line. Beer garden will still be outside. Polka band will be back. Um, and then the big kicker Sunday at the end is we have our oral auction. The live auction where people yes. will be bidding fast and furious. All of this is for a very good cause. It supports Holy Family School, correct? Yes, Holy Family in uh, Hayden High and School. Hayden uh, well. speaking, mm -hmm. speaking of Holy Family, this shirt was actually designed by one of the kids this year. They designed a shirt for us. They designed right. the, the this little, one that, oh, that one there. Oh, the awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I love it which is a great way to incorporate the youth because how big of a deal is this for the school and, and for Hayden, for both schools? Um, yeah, actually it helps provide scholarships for the kids that be able to learn about Christ and it helps everybody, uh, keeps the school running, pays our teachers and keeps everybody uh, happy. And gives, us, gives us the funding we need to be more inclusive to have students from various backgrounds, students with disabilities, um, students from the neighborhood who maybe have a lower socioeconomic standpoint. Mm -hmm. So it really just gives us the ability to really reach all the students who want to be a part of our school community. And sharing the culture and tradition is wonderful as well. German Fest is coming up Saturday and Sunday. The Sacred Heart Church grounds, by the way, are at 312 Northeast Freeman. GermanFestTopeka.com is where you can get the entire rundown and further details because the run is a week later. After you fill up on right. the food, you got to have the run. <laughs> Ladies, right. thank so you so much. So don't forget the brat trot. We Not did at on all. <laughs> June 10th. Thank you for being with us. We're back in a half hour for Live at 5. Get the latest news, weather, and sports.